Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is the Wood Style Shinobi. Today, we're going to go ahead and do the full base build video for this fretless walnut base. It's going to be a hoot and a holler all the way through. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll meet you back here to talk about it once this is all done. Later. So right now, I have to decide what side I want the headstock to be on and what side I want the uh, the body of the the body of the guitar to be on. Because this is going to be a through neck, and I want all this wood to show through. So I'm going to try to find the uh, the figuring that works out the best with the uh, figuring of the the body wood that I'm going to be using right now. So. Uh, that's what I'm gonna go on with that. So, I think I want this to be the body. You can't see it too well, but uh, there's like some uh, uh, some knot hole stuff going on right there compared to this side, which is just like pure flat, but it still, still has a good amount of figuring on it though. Uh, I'm saying the knot hole part because I'm gonna be picking the knottiest parts of all this black walnut, like this right here. That's going to be part of the uh, part of the wood that I'm going to be using. Um, I'll probably fill it with a little bit of clear resin just so it uh, structurally sound and all that. So that's going to be a, a face plate. And then I have this piece of wood, and I'll probably use this this end because I do like the uh, the knotting right there. So I'll have this on the inside. So what it's going to end up looking like. is something like this. So I got that big knot hole right there, and I got the knot hole from the uh, the neck, the through neck, and then I got that little piece of bird's eye right there. So that means the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the angle on the headstock. I like to do a 10 degree angle on everything that I do. I might do 12, I'll, I'll do 10 degree. I like to keep it 10 degree, should be fine. Uh, I'll probably just uh, put no faceplate on the front because I do like the uh, the maple black walnut maple look. And I do want it to shine. This is going to be the the back of the body. This is just maple matches the uh, maple on the neck, and that's going to be behind the uh, behind the black walnut. And I'll probably end up doing a black walnut uh, uh, cavity pocket for uh, or a cavity cover for the back of the guitar as well. That way, it's just two pieces of wood. I really like the way the black walnut looks. Uh, it's one of the things that is always selling at the big box store that I get my hardwood from. And uh, I want to start using it more because it is just a lovely wood. And it is locally grown here in the state of Oregon. Anyways, let's get to that.
perfect. Alright everyone, so this is where I'm at right now. I just carved out the body, shaped it. I just shaped it all by hand for now. Uh, I'm thinking it looks pretty good. I like it a lot. We'll see if uh, that's the final shape at the end of the day. But, right now we're going to be working on the headstock. I just glued on some uh, some wings. I went ahead and just did uh, black walnut to match with the center stripe because I think it looks darn nice. So, we have decided that we want to make our headstock a little bit bigger because it's a little too small for uh, what we normally do, our standard headstock uh, style that we do. So I'm gonna go ahead and freehand that just like I freehanded the body and see how it all comes out. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to it.
All right, everybody. So this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and do the back of the guitar neck. I want to taper it from 22 mils to 25 mils, and then I'm gonna go ahead and meet it to the guitar body from there. So that's what we're up to. Let's get it. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go ahead and go over the uh, the pros and cons of what I liked about this build and what I did not, and uh, how I can improve in the future because that's what I'm all about on this channel. So, the first thing I wanted to talk about was the pros. I really like it. Fretless bases are my favorite kind of bass because they, they, just got that, they just got that cool sound to them. Blah, 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 this, that, and that other thing. Of course, I really like the gold hardware. I wish I could have got some uh, gold covers for the uh, for the uh, P-Base pickups. And this was my first time uh, ever installing P-Base pickups. And, you know, they came out pretty much like anything else. I still need to get better at soldering, so, you know, there's that. But uh, it'll come in the future. Some, uh, some negatives of this base is... I didn't realize how hard it was to uh, like really get into the crevasses when uh, when you're working with a uh, fret, uh, through neck model. So I will have to work on that in the future. Also with a through neck that I did not know was I should have put a, a better break angle on it. Uh, I, I just did straight through and that didn't work. Uh, the action's a bit high. It's, it's not super high. It's like uh, probably a eighth of an inch higher than I would like it. But uh, that really affects the playing when it comes to fretless because you can do a lot of sliding. Well, I still need to get better finishing also. Uh, it, it, it's shiny, it's shiny, but it could be better. Uh, I, sh I didn't realize that the grain was uh, so deep on the, uh, the walnut as I was working with it. So, uh, you know, if I knew it was uh, this uh, grainy, I would have uh, put some, uh, some joint compound. Uh, let's see I'm really happy about our logo uh, that we got on here you know that that's really coming out nice um, yeah and besides that let me know down on the comments what you liked what you disliked about this because I always like to improve in the future uh, anyways let's go ahead and get to the sound check later <laughs> 